But we, have, we are looking in one of four letters written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. These are known as the Gospels. We're looking at one of the four letters, and one of the four letters here, we're looking in John, is written. Um, and what's going on here is these, I want you to realize what's, like how these letters came to be. Um, no one was keeping a daily journal. These guys weren't journalers, right? Like they weren't writing like, Jesus went out and walked on water today. Make sure to tell someone about that. Like they weren't writing these things down as they went. After Jesus left, I'm guessing they got together, the Holy Spirit was involved, and they were like, we should probably write down some of the experiences that we saw Jesus have with people that we had with Jesus because a ton of people did not get to experience Jesus in the way that we did. So they wrote down different experiences they had with Jesus so that we, thousands of years later, could understand Jesus and the people there could also understand Jesus. And these, when these gospels were written, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, when they were written, they were written, um, Matthew was trying to reach a certain people group. Mark was reaching a different people group. And then Luke and John, everyone tries reading, reaching a different people group. Like when you go to talk to your friends about Jesus, when you go talk to your family members, your coworkers, uh, people on sports teams, you're trying to reach them. So you're going to tell them uh, experiences you've had with Jesus, what he's done in your life. Also, maybe you'll remember a couple of the experiences out of here that you're like, okay, this one will relate to them very well. This one they wouldn't get so much, so I'm not going to use this one. And that's what happened when they put these letters together is they started putting those in there. And as they put those in there, people started understanding things a little bit better there. 